Uh, this is a simple um, example of how to use dynamic regions very quickly. So uh, in order to do a dynamic region, you need to have a task flow. So that's your first step. Okay. Um, let's call this one the AMP task. Okay. And your task flow needs to be bounded with page fragments. Okay. So you got this. Um, your task flow can do many things, like it can have multiple pages and flows and stuff like that. I'm just going to do a task flow that has one page and when I'm creating the page you'll notice that it's creating it as a page fragment so the extension is JSFF okay. and then into this you can basically do whatever you want um, let's do the employees over here and say as a form okay. like that so this is your first step basically create a task flow with whatever you want bound the task flow with page fragments once you do this I also have another task flow that I already created called depth task which does something very similar the next step is to go and create a regular page we can call this one the main page um, we can choose a layout for example um, something that actually splits the page into a right and a left area and then what we want to do is put something on the right side that we can change dynamically and to do that we're simply going to take one of the tasks so for example the depth task drag and drop it over here and choose dynamic region when we do that we'll be prompted to create a manage bin if we don't have one to store the name of the dynamic region that is actually going to be shown there so we'll call it a region name for example can call it whatever you want of course click OK and OK again and OK again this is the task flow ID okay and you can see that there's a task flow ID now with a default value which points to the first task that we dragged over and a property called region name in here okay and in our page <coughs> there's now a region on the right side now the more interesting thing that you can now do is you might wonder so how do I actually specify what else I want to put on that region right so let me show you what you can do you can take the depth task and drag and drop it over here and drop it as a region link okay and that creates um, a link okay, a command link with an action and we'll show you what the action does in a second and I'm going to do the same thing for the amp task so drag it over, put it right after the first one as a region link. So we'll have two of those. Right? And again, when you're looking into this one, it has an action associated with it in the region name bin. So over here, and here's the action. The action basically just switches the name of this variable or the value of this variable. Okay. And that's all you need to do basically. Now you can save everything and you can run your page. So when the page loads first, we can see the department task over here, which is shown as a table. Okay, and when we click the AMP task, the content here switches to show the content of the employee task flow, which is a form on employee. And if we click department task, we'll see this one again. Okay, so that's how you use dynamic regions, and how easy it is to actually create options in your application to switch the content at runtime. Right, so one thing that is a little tricky with what we created is that if we actually go to the AMP task and we click the submit, you can see that we're actually switching back to the department task and you might be wondering why. So the reason is actually quite simple. When we click the submit, we um, basically did a request scope. And the one thing to note is that the bin that we created by default, okay, the manage bin, is actually defined in a request scope by default which is the wrong scope for this um, thing because you want to keep uh, the, the information about which region to display for a longer time than just one request so um, go to your ADFC config right? look at the overview look at your manage bins here's your bin okay and what you probably want to do is switch this to be um, view scope 
So we'll basically keep this while we're at looking at the specific view or the specific page. Um, this bin is going to be available for us. Um, switch over back to your page um, after well, basically you did a recompile here and um, reload your page. Okay, so you can see this thing. Click AMP now. See this page? Click Submit and you're still on this page. Okay, Submit again works. Switch over to depth, still works even when you're doing things like that and then switch back to amp. That's it.